Well, hey there, guys and gals. I'm Colin from fruitsofspirit.com, and I'm going to tell you a story today. Today's story is called The Rich Man and Lazarus. Jesus tells us this story, and he tells us that there was a rich man who was dressed like royalty in expensive clothes, and he was very, very rich. At the gate to his house was a poor beggar named Lazarus. He was very poor and had sores all over his body. All he wanted was to eat the crumbs that fell from the rich man's table, since he had nothing to eat. Eventually, the beggar died, and he was taken to a heavenly place with people like Abraham. The rich man also died, but he was taken to a terrible place named Hades, where he was tormented. The rich man looked up and saw Abraham and the poor man Lazarus together. He called out and said, Abraham, help me. Please send the poor man Lazarus to give me just a drop of water because I am in pain in this fire. Abraham replied, Remember in your life, you had so many good things, but Lazarus only had bad things. Now he has what is good and is being comforted, but you are receiving bad things and are in pain. But even if we wanted to help, there is a giant pit between us, so we cannot get to you and you cannot get to us. The rich man said, I beg you, Abraham, send the poor man Lazarus to my family because I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they won't end up like me in this terrible place. Abraham said, they have the books of the Bible. Let them listen to the words in them. The rich man said, no, Abraham, that is not enough. If someone comes back from the dead to tell them, they will repent. Abraham finished by saying, if they do not listen to the books of the Bible, They would not listen even if someone came back from the dead. This story seems a little bit scary, but it's also pretty interesting. Before I talk about the meaning of this story, I want you to know that we're really happy that you're here. We'd love to see you more and hope that you'd love to see more of us. If so, we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing to our channel as well as liking this video. But enough of that, let's get back to the story. So this poor man named Lazarus had a very hard life, but the rich man's life was very easy. But even with all that the rich man had, he still never helped Lazarus. We don't know much more about these two men, but we do see where they ended up. Lazarus ended up in a heavenly place with Abraham, but the rich man ended up in Hades, a terrible place. And this seems to be what Jesus wants us to realize in this story. He wants us to know what is coming next. He doesn't want us to store up treasures here on this earth. And he doesn't want us to live a life separate from him because that will lead to an eternity separate from him. So if I want to be with God in heaven someday, what do I need to do? Well, let's look at the last thing that Abraham said in this story. He said, if they do not listen to the books of the Bible, they would not listen even if someone came back from the dead. So you know what's really cool about what Abraham just said there? Is that Jesus, the man that's telling this story, actually did come back from the dead. Later on, we know that Jesus actually died and was crucified on a cross. But later he came back from the dead to show people that the kingdom of God was real. But it wasn't only to show us that it was real. It was also to give us a way there. It tells us that Jesus actually died for us. He took the punishment that we should have had so that one day we can be with God in heaven. So all that it takes is choosing to follow Jesus. So what will you do? Will you be like the rich man in this story that lived an easy life but ended up separate from God? Or will we be like Lazarus? Will we accept Jesus and possibly live a hard life here on this earth but have an eternity with God? Thank you all so much for sticking around to the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. As promised, we have a free coloring page available on our website, www.fruitsofspirit.com. We'll hope to see you there.